What's going on, Dream Real Life? So, welcome back to another video. And as you can see in the title, we got something special going on, something different, something I've never done before, but I've heard a lot about. And um, yeah, we, we got it right here. We haven't even opened it yet. I could go wide angle, and this will help. Hashtag iPhone 11 perks, bro. Like, look at this wide angle. This is like so close. It looks like further away than it is to me, which is weird. So, I'm gonna try to do this without fucking messing up my ears. Matter of fact. Block out my shit. I got a mountain here for a reason, so I might as well use it. So, cut all this stuff out. Let's see what we've got. All right, so here it is. We got the V Peak. V Peak. It's probably backwards for y'all, but it's the V Peak OBD2 scanner. And let's see, satisfaction guaranteed, one year replacement. Blah, 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 blah. But basically what this is, plugged into your OBD2 sensor, allows you to scan all your codes, check all your codes, make sure it's good, clear all your codes if you have a check engine light from doing mods or whatnot. Um, but more importantly for me, what I'm gonna be using this for is for um, management of the vehicle to check the gauges and stuff. So I don't know I'm gonna call this video, but basically for 20 bucks, you get one of these and save like $500 on all the gauges that you would want. Although in the future, I will lean towards uh, some more physical gauges, hardwired gauges, but for now, this is gonna have you to do. See we got the old phone here. And just give y'all a comparison of how small this is. I don't know if you can see, but we got the iPhone 11 right there. And then I don't know if this is gonna be dull. <laughs> I don't know if this makes sense, but look at that. Look at the size difference. The fact that I can still record with the phone behind the iPhone 11. So this phone is tiny. And uh, yeah, but we're gonna use this for um, the purposes of collecting the data with an app called, uh, what's it called, what's it called? OBD Fusion, I believe it's called. Basically, I'm gonna have this sitting like this. I don't know where I'm gonna put it, but it basically sit like that, give me a reading of the gauges and stuff, and it'll be really, really dope. So let me go ahead and set this up. Okay, so I had to turn the car all the way on, but I finally got this um, basically installed, or I connect the Wi-Fi to it. So we're gonna go over here, go to the OBD app, and if everything's correct, it should start working. Let me uh, figure this out again. Okay, so I didn't see any lights, but it definitely is plugged in. So we're gonna go over here, go to Wi-Fi, and this should pop up. I still don't see any lights. I don't know, I'm just gonna start it for now. And figure this out real quick. So basically what it says to do first off is to basically plug this in. So I'm gonna go down there. I know y'all can't see this, but trust me. So after we got that in, we're gonna put the key to the on position for the car. Let me turn off these lights so you can see if there's any lights down there. All right, so I figured it out. Basically had to hit connect, which is right in the middle, which is really simple, but that's what I had to do. So I'm waiting for this to connect and then hopefully it pretty much should have us right into the, right into that. Right now it's grabbing on the information with the car. Oh, what just happened? All right, so now we gotta edit the vehicle, so be right back. Uh, basic vehicle information on this. And uh, yeah, now we're just gonna hit, um, I guess back. And if we go to dashboards, <laughs> there we go. Holy shit, we're set up. So I'm just gonna set that like right there just so we can see basically what's going on. So basically what I have on there is I have set the air fuel ratio, which obviously isn't reading right now. I gotta figure out why. We got the engine power, we got the RPM, and then I don't wanna get it too loud, but yeah, so it, then it just froze. So the thing that's concerning me is uh, I set this up for a reason is if you look at the intake temp, <laughs> I'm, in the, I'm in the no bueno zone. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go pop the hood and see if the intake 
temp goes down because if it does then that means this is accurate so give me one second i just popped the hood and as you can see i don't know if it's doing it still now but there we go so the intake temps are dropping like dramatically so that's pretty much good data for me to know that that intake needs to be <laughs> it needs to be changed up a little bit let me see what happens if i just like Yeah, so that's interesting. Power fuel, oil temp for some reason is not reading anything at all. So let me go in the settings and try to figure so that out. So what I just did is went back to the settings, changed that to engine coolant temperature, and uh, you can see that's reading. So basically what it was saying is that this car doesn't get a reading on oil at all, and I'll show you that in a sec. So for in the menu here, go to that display configuration uh oops display configuration and then we go to we got sensors which is like lateral stuff we got fuel which is like fuel economy stuff we got calculated pids which is like stuff that it calculates based on the like the stuff you give it wheel speed and all that kind of type of stuff and then if we go to these, these are what it basically reads directly from the OBD2. So basically this didn't have anything oil wise. Like if I type in oil, there's nothing. If I type in trans, we get nothing. Um, boosts, nothing. So intake manifold pressure is currently at 4.5 PSI, which is, and then it goes up if I rev. That's interesting. <laughs> I don't really, I don't think it's supposed to be a boost. I don't really know what it's doing. Yeah, that's interesting. RPMs definitely work. Horsepower definitely works. Intake temps working. It's just a matter of trying to figure out this stuff. And especially air fuel, I'd imagine that to work. That's the thing that makes me sad the most. Definitely gonna keep playing around with it because there's a lot of settings that I was expecting to have, but I'm not having just because of uh, the type of car I have. I might try to go change the vehicle, see if that helps out. But um, outside of that, if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely leave a like. Uh, if you want the product link to it, I'll include it. And if you guys want me to like test this horsepower of this car with this app, which I'm really curious to do, let me know in the comments and I might do a follow up, follow up on this video playing around with some of the other, other settings. But um, definitely, even though I don't have a lot of the things I want on here, the main thing that I think is pretty cool is one, I have RPM. Let me see if I have the, I don't think I have that. Let me check. Okay, no, I don't have that either. So, <laughs> so I gotta rethink my whole, my whole map on this, but I got in intake temp, which actually works. That's surprising. I have engine power, which works. I have intake manifold pressure. I don't know why I need that, but I'm sure I could do some research and find out how or what's that for. And then I have a couple other things on here, but sadly I don't have AFR. I don't have um, oil temp and a couple other things. So I'm gonna figure that out one that one out. But if you want to see me test the power on this, let me know in the comments and subscribe if you're new. I'll catch you guys in the next one.